Deltares is a knowledge institute with the motto Enabling Delta Life. We do applied research on water, subsurface and infrastructure. To make sense of all the data available today, we use machine learning and deep learning to make tools and models for our clients and the world. We like to share with you a few of our projects. As operator of the Dutch network, ProRail wants to increase rail traffic. More trains, faster trains, and trains traveling at a higher frequency. The Dutch network is built upon 7,000 kilometers of rail track. Of those tracks, 50% lies on soft soil embankments. It is unknown if those embankments can carry the future loads. Here you can see such an embankment. With data science, cloud computing, and stochastic subsurface modeling, we basically build a digital twin of this embankment. And with such a digital twin, we can assess the safety and determine if such embankments can carry the future loads. With the aid of this technology, we assist ProRail to facilitate the growing numbers of travelers and goods to make sure they reach the destination safely. Coastal structures such as dikes and breakwaters, like the one I'm standing on right now, are necessary for protection against coastal flooding, shipping and safe harbor operations. To ensure that these structures function well under wave attack, they are tested on scale in wave flumes. Some of the phenomena we want to measure are very easy to see, but hard to actually measure. This is where computer vision techniques can help us. We use a camera to film the tests in the wave flume and then use deep learning techniques to distinguish the water from its surroundings. We've applied this to many different things, such as measurement of wave height, waves running up against or over the structure, and the movement of the underwater sand bed. By providing detailed information on coastal structures that's otherwise hard to measure, the design of these structures can be optimized. This will lead to more cost-effective and, of course, safer coastal structures. Water shortage and drought have been mentioned as some of the factors that led to the start of the civil war in Syria. And although the role of water may have been small, it did lead to questions of when and where in the world may water shortage get so severe that it can result in violence. We apply machine learning to assess the relation between conflict events and other factors. Uh, water factors, but also other factors such as population, governance type, inequality. And for us, it's very important that our results not only reproduce well what happened in the past, but that they also have predictive capacity, that they can help us understand what may happen in the future. With these analyses, we will contribute to further developing the Water, Peace and Security Global Early Warning Tool together with our partners to enable actors to timely address water-related security risks all over the world. En het is al weken prachtig weer, maar er heerst ook heel veel droogte in Nederland. Zo ziet de grond er op veel plekken nu uit in Nederland. Gort en gort droog. The climate changes in the Netherlands. It's getting drier in summer. Waterboards face the question how to safeguard fresh water of sufficient quality at the right location, even when it's dry. This is the pumping station near Gouda along the Hollandse IJssel. It is managed by the water board of Rijnland. The water inlet of this pumping station is sensitive to salt intrusion from the North Sea. Rijnland would like to know if the salinity in the Hollandse IJssel is low enough to use the water for agriculture and nature and let it flow in. When there's a threat of water shortages, additional fresh water can be transported to the western part of the Netherlands via alternative routes. These adjustments in water supply take a few days. Deltares created models to predict the salinity of the Hollandse IJssel, one to a few days ahead. Our model will help Rijnland to control the water supply more precisely and to provide enough fresh water in the western part of the Netherlands. This is the coastal town of Ter Heide, and behind that, the Netherlands where people live below sea level. 
and uh, they're protected by a single dune road. And this sand protects them against the North Sea over there. And uh, we nourish this coast. Uh, for each centimeter of sea level rise over there, we protect these dunes by 70 million cubic meters of uh, sand. And, uh, but because we nourish so much, we have to know exactly how much sea level is rising. And that's where data science comes in. Uh, to estimate the Dutch sea level rise, we use a technique called data fusion. And there you combine all kinds of different information sources from satellite optimetry, from uh, tide gauge measurements over there, from tidal current reconstructions. We combine all of those into a single product called the Dutch sea level rise estimate. We publish these estimates in uh, interactive research documents, which the other scientists and the general public like to check. And that gives us confidence that we're providing a good estimate of the current sea level rise. That's of course very essential for the people living behind these dunes. At Altaris we feel committed to use and share all our knowledge and skills to keep delta areas livable and safe. So, if we got your curiosity, please feel welcome to discuss with us further on the topic and find out how we can work together. <laughs>